Okay, now we're finished dialyzing. I've taken my salt off of, off of the machine. Now we need to take the system down and start with a uh, heat treatment. So the first thing we do is remove the blue uh, connector. So again, when I remove it, I always lift it up. The reason why I lift it up, because I don't want the water to drain out and then get everything wet. After I remove that blue one, I cap it off with the cap that I took off originally. Then I go ahead and do the same thing for the red one. The red one, I kind of shake the water out and again, always have it high, then put it back. Now that removes the dialyzer. The next thing I do is that I close the clamp on this unit here, then I unscrew it. There's a, the reason why I do that is because if I don't unscrew that, then I have to pull this out and then this is a sharp object. I don't like to have anything sharp at all. So I'll put this away. So now this line is totally out of my way. So after that, <clears throat> I go ahead and take off the line itself. I like, I always like to start with the pump area. The reason why is that I don't want the pump to get caught. Release all the hatches, unscrew the Venus tube and also the auxiliary sensor tube. I try to keep everything in one hand. Squeeze this to get this out again. Inspect your chamber and see how bad or how much blood is clotted up. Release that and then I unscrew the heparin. And now all the line is off and I throw all the stuff away. So one that is, one side is done. I remove the red concentrator to the standby part. And again, I keep my gloves on. One of the reasons why I keep my gloves on is because I don't want any of that concentration fluid getting in my hand because it is very corrosive. Pause. Oh, just a minute. And after that is in, my screen should say to empty by carbonate. Press confirm. I go ahead and confirm that. And now this is starting to empty out. While that is empty out, I'll do the next preparation. Minute or two, after a minute or two, remove bicarbonate and close hatch. So here's the bicarbonate. I lift up the top part. So like pull and lift up. That will release the top part. Then pull up and that should release it. And then after that, you close the hatch. Once the hatch is closed, now we can go ahead. If you look at the screen, you say press, rinse, disinfecting button, and, and uh, start disinfecting, disinfection. So I press the disinfection. I push heat. And then I got the manual here, okay? So uh, if you press this, which is the heat clean cart, which is a C. If you press this, it's a clean cart plus LHF which is an A as an apple. If you push heat, then we don't require any type of uh, clean cart. Normally, we want to cycle them, so we do heat, clean cart, clean cart, LFH, and then back to heat again, and just the cycle, um, you know, when you went through it. Today, I'm gonna to do a clean cart, heat clean cart, I press that, I go ahead and confirm it. Once it's confirmed, I can close off this menu, now up here you see it's clean cart. That means that it's starting to, the machine's starting to get ready to accept the clean cart that I put in, which is a C. So I have to wait. Turn off. All right, so after a minute, uh, clean cart is not attached. Attach clean cartridge. So here we're here. I take my clean cartridge, open up the unit here. 
I start with the bottom first. Line up the bottom, pull on top, pull the top lever, then line the line the hole up, hold the bottom of it to keep to so I can push down on it. Once I push down, it's now locked and ready to go. So, so once the, t the clean cart is attached, the clean cart now start, and then the timer will count down to zero. Once it's zero, then the machine has done the heat disinfectant. Close.